Okay, hello YouTube. This is a Canadian Greek coming at you with ISON update number 11. Um, this will be the first time that I've actually put two updates out in a 24 hour period. But some new developments have come up and I think um, this update is necessary. So um, let's get to it. Let's have a look at what's going on and why I decided to make two updates so quickly. We'll start with Bruce Gary's website. Um, obviously, ISON has continued to brighten. We are now at the VMAG. It's at 4.7, uh, 4.78 to be exact. Um, Comet is continually brightening, but then again, it's continually getting hit by CMEs. Uh, I showed you one yesterday. Um, as far as uh, it falling apart, here's where it's uh, here. Let's hear what Bruce Gary has to say. There is much discussion about uh, the comet breaking up November 13th or 14th, causing more surface area to be exposed and thereby accounting for a brightening. Um, the observational evidence for this seems to be um, spatial structure image enhancement showing the distinct bright spots. Uh, I remain unconvinced because I think the enhanced images are also com um, compatible with newly formed jets on the sides, as well as near the front of the nucleus, uh, with extended, uh, which extend into the inner coma. There is convincing evidence that there are filamentary-like structures within the coma, inner and outer, that are, that are bending backwards for eventual joining with the tail. So my default position is that Comet Ison is still intact, um, but is simply more active in producing jets that feed the coma with greater than ever amounts of gas and dust. Okay. Uh, so here are some pictures, and of course I told you I told you guys that it is still intact because, well, anyways, I guess I'm a pretty smart guy, um, but. Um, here it is from Bruce Gary. He also says that it is still intact. He's got some more pictures of it. These are the recent, more recent ones, by the way. These were taken on the 19th, um, which is why I couldn't have used any of his pictures yesterday, or not yesterday, about 23 hours ago, because they weren't relevant to what I had to say. Now, uh, here is Tony Scarmano spatial structure enhancement showing the jets. And some more pictures. Okay, these were these were all taken on the 19th and enhanced. Okay, November the 19th. And Gary also says that it is intact. I think Gary, I think Gary must be watching my site or something because he always comes up with whatever <laughs> my last video was happened to pertain and um, seems to ratify everything that I that I have to say. Um, Gary and I only, uh, as far as as far as Bruce Gary goes, I think he's doing an excellent job. He and I have only disagreed once um, when he said when he was putting out uh, the Larson Sicania filters from Tony Scarbato and he was talking about the whole front facing jet thing, which of course I was proven right because it was no there was no such thing. Anyways, um, another monster CME, of course going right towards ISON okay this is a nice class flare um, so by the end of the day if you look at the, if you look at the date and time on this thing when this thing goes out comes out on the 20th to the 21st so um, look for ISON to maybe perhaps drop down to a maybe three and a half total VMAG or at least a three. Okay, it's at it's at uh, four point seven, so maybe a three and a half or a four. Uh, after it gets hit by this CME, um, it should increase in brightness even further. I mean, that is a monster CME. That is my prediction, and this is also what I'm afraid of happening. This is, by the way, a semi-halo event. Okay, um, as you can see, it covers you know half the circumference of the sun. Um, what I'm afraid of when um, Enki and what I mentioned yesterday and Ison line up with the sun, 
uh, I'm afraid of a massive uh, a massive event at that point. Uh, let's hope that it is not a complete halo eruption and that Earth is not affected by um, that alignment. Okay, um, some more pictures of Comet Ison. This one I think is very cool. Uh, this one is brought to us by uh, Vitaly Nevsky on uh, November the 20th. Okay, very good image. It'll show you the, the, the tails and the filament structures that he's talking about, um, that Bruce Gary is mentioning. Uh, bending backwards. Uh, this is also a really cool image. Three separate images. Um, I think uh, BP Earthwatch has been talking about the um, vibrational frequencies of these images and how they're making geometric structures and shapes. Okay. Um, I think that's very interesting. I won't comment on anything on that for the time being. Um, CMEs, yesterday I corrected myself and I shouldn't have because I was right in the first place. Uh, CMEs can move, the average most common CME is 500 per 1000 kilometers per second. Okay, that is pretty fast moving. Um, more speedy CMEs can be anywhere from 1,000 to 2,000 kilometers a second or 2,000 to 3,000 kilometers and 3,000 kilometers and upwards for extremely rare events. Um, this one here is probably doing over 1,000 okay, kilometers a second. Um, let's move on along. Um, Google Plus. Again, my channel, I think, is purposely being held down, being held back. I'm not getting the views that I should be getting. 1,733 subscribers. And my video again. Of course, now it's only been 24 hours. It's only been 23 hours, actually, uh, that I put this video out here. Uh, I saw an update number 10. And again, I doubt I'm going to get any more than 700 views. There's something wrong with that. I don't know why. Some people are not getting their updates. Um, I'm not showing up. I have no idea. But all I got to say is fuck you, Google. Okay? I'm going to keep putting these things out, guys. I'm going until I get my own website up. I am going to create my own website and I'm going to stop posting on YouTube. You guys are going to get your updates in this format. I'm just basically going to be telling you that there's a new update. And you guys can come to my site and have a look at it. Or you can just come to my site every day because you might not even get these updates. Okay? I don't know what's going on with YouTube, but Google really fucked this, this site up. Um, they shouldn't have messed with YouTube at all. Uh, if they wanted to buy it and take it over, that's fine, but they should never have linked it with their garbage site. Now people are not getting their updates, uh, views are dropping. Um, I don't know what to, I don't know how to explain it other than to say that you know other than to say fuck you Google I mean look at this shit okay look at that ever since Google Plus came in everything has been going downhill anyways that's it for that's it for today that's a, just a quick update I just wanted to bring you guys up to speed another CME event pointed right at Ison and Enki okay. So expect even more brightening now. I expect even more brightening according to the electric comet model. And it's going to just keep on getting brighter and brighter. Unfortunately, where I am right now in my part of the world, um, we have lots of clouds. And this is definitely um, naked eye visible. And I can't see it because it's all clouded over. It's really pissing me off. I'd really love to get out there borrow my friend's uh, Nikon camera with like a 55 times zoom and just take video of this thing for like an hour. I'd like to observe its behavior personally, with, you know, with my own equipment and um, bring you guys a video like that. But um, unfortunately, the weather's not cooperating with me here, 
So who knows? Uh, maybe in the next three, four days, maybe it'll clear up. Maybe I'll get a, maybe I'll get a shot. Um, anyways, we'll see what happens. This is the Canadian Greek. Fuck you, Google, one more time. Fuck you, Google, you fucking motherfuckers. I'm out.